Hey everyone, Ronnie Chavez here to bring you 10 Kong Vault variations. Now I'm going to be showing you Kong Vaults that I've done in the past and the various variations and just a couple tips on how to do them or how to start learning them if you haven't done them yet. So we're going to start off with the Diving Kong because you probably all know what the basic Kong is. The Diving Kong can be classified as the basic Kong only it becomes cooler and cooler the farther away you're actually jumping from the object you're doing a Kong Vault to. Our next Kong Vault variation is actually the Double Kong. So this is just like a Diving Kong, only you're going to start it out the same way you would do a Kong Precision. So you're kind of hitting the first obstacle to get power and distance, but then instead of going, bringing your feet back down in front of you, you're actually keeping them in the air as you dive to place your hands down again to either the second obstacle or farther on the obstacle to then land the double Kong and pull your feet through. Now that you can do the double Kong, let's move on to the triple Kong. The main trick with the triple Kong is to throw in a third hit in between the first hit and the second hit. Our next Kong variation is going to be the Kong to precision. So this is when you're doing a Kong vault closer to the object with the goal to travel as far away from the object as possible. So you could basically think of it as the opposite of a diving Kong, where a diving Kong you're trying to get distance before the obstacle, with the Kong precision you're trying to get distance after the obstacle. Now we have the Kong to dash, or the cash vault. This is when you're going to Kong, and then you're going to set it up almost like you would with a precision, but instead you can kick your feet forward and lean backwards from the Kong, and push off with your hands like you would a dash vault. Moving on to our next Kong vault variation, the Kong front. You're going to be jumping towards the rail the same way you would set up a front flip as if you're going over the rail. You're going to push off with your hands as you start jumping, quickly bring your knees up to your chest, and push away from the rail to pop around, do the front flip, and land on your feet. Our next Kong vault variation is actually a stationary one. It's when you do a handstand to Kong drop. So you do a handstand on the edge of any ledge or building and then you're simply going to start falling forward and then pop into a Kong vault so you bring your feet down and through and land on your feet. Now let's do the cast Kong. Maybe you just climbed, did a muscle up onto a high bar and want to pop over it. Well the cast Kong is when you're in that position with the bar at your hips and then it's simply going to be doing a cast which is popping your feet backwards and arching your back to kind of set your hips up in the air and then pulling yourself forward and pushing to bring your feet through just like you would with the Kong Vault and that's how you do the cast Kong Vault. Now moving on to our last two which are going to be advanced Kong Vaults. The first one is a 360 Dive Kong Vault or also known as the Screwdriver Kong Vault. This is where you're actually going to be diving towards the obstacle spinning a full 360 before placing your hands down and doing the Kong Vault. And finally, one of the more advanced Kong Vault variations is the Kong Gainer. Now I personally have only ever done this move in the gym because it is extremely dangerous. So if you're going to try to learn the Kong Gainer, make sure you learn it in a very safe environment, into a foam pit, and you are very competent with gainers and Kong Vault and everything around you is soft and fluffy. I'm also including some clips of Kalen Chan's Kong Gainer because he's, well, the master of Kong Gainers. And he actually just recently did a very in-depth tutorial on the Kong Gainer, so if you really want to get in-depth and learn how to do it, go check out his tutorial on their YGT free running YouTube channel. So while editing this video, I thought of two other Kong Vault variations that I'm going to add on as bonus tricks. So the first one is actually a Kong Launch, a Kong Step Stride. It's basically doing a Kong Vault but stepping off the obstacle as you proceed to Kong for extra power and jumps, depending on what you're jumping to. And then our second bonus trick is actually just the Wall Pop Kong. It's when you just do a wall run, a kick off the wall, and then pop it into a Kong Vault instead of just doing a wall run. So there you have it, 10 Kong Vault variations plus 2 bonus Kong Vault variations. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any requests for future additional list of 10 parkour trick tutorials, but otherwise be sure to subscribe for those future videos and thanks for watching.